the emblem of the Southern Cross. It was on that very day that the aircraft bearing the mark of the Southern Hemisphere brought about the defeat of Laysath forces. But the story barely made the news, and the army showed no apparent reaction. Almost nightly, Laysath's commanding officer, Diego Gaspar Navarro, plays host to grand banquets within Gaius Tower. This evening, he is once again proudly trumpeting the glory of his airborne fortress. I've heard the speech so many times, it feels like I wrote it. Which, in a way, is a good thing, because it lets me concentrate on enjoying the food instead. As I gazed out the window at the night sky, I felt as if even the phases of the moon were somehow at odds with those of the Northern Hemisphere. The words of a fellow reporter, who fancied himself a connoisseur of fine wine, really got me thinking about the price of the glass of wine in my hand. One glass of it is roughly equivalent to several years of a Laysathian citizen's salary. Haven't the long years of civil war left Laysath an impoverished and war-torn nation? Whatever the case, much is unclear about the flow of money in Laysath. Ever since I arrived here, I've only covered stories the military had approved. However, this particular mystery just might be worth investigating on my own. The idea was nothing more than the product of an idle mind. At least at the time. Uh, okay, let's get started with a report of the situation. I think our best option under the circumstances would be to head towards Santa Elva. Santa Elva is a strategic location that we have to pass through to get to the capital, Griswold. However, there are several other strategic points on the way to Santa Elva. Which points you choose and in what order you do so is up to you. It looks like your decisions will affect the course of this battle. I know it's an immense responsibility, but there's no one else to count on. We're relying on you to get us through this. It appears that the enemy's Miller unit is gathering at Kings Hill. It looks like they're trying to take back Port Patterson. I wonder what they're up to. Next, we have reports that the Allied Davis unit is cut off at Stand Canyon. Gleipnir took off from Puna Base and is currently standing by at Terminus Island. With the long strike range of the Gleipnir, there's not much our forces can do. It appears that the enemy is moving towards Stan Canyon to eliminate our remaining forces. We'll need those remaining forces in our attack on Santa Elva, so I think we should probably send help. If left alone, they'll be helpless against the aerial fortress. Just like what happened to us at Cape Aubrey. Also, Santa Elva is a key location for the enemy, and I think they'll concentrate their forces there. We'll have major problems if they send in their aerial fortress. I'll give you more details once you decide on a route. Please tell me which route you plan to take. Laysaf's Miller unit is meeting up at Kings Hill. Based on the sheer strength of the enemy force, an offensive aimed at retaking Port Patterson appears eminent. A partially completed highway runs directly from Kings Hill straight into the heart of Port Patterson. The enemy intends to use this highway to swiftly spearhead its way through our defenses. Their ground forces must be destroyed if Port Patterson is to remain ours. Our soldiers are in a precarious position. If they are attacked now, 
they will have no choice but to abandon the port. One more thing. On the highway leading to Port Patterson, there is a tunnel. If an enemy tank makes it to the tunnel, it will be beyond the reach of any air assault. If even one enemy tank enters the tunnel, our mission will fail. Please make sure this doesn't happen.
concealed, leaving it impossible to identify from the air. Wait for enemy vehicles to leave the rendezvous point, then strike.
We've succeeded in preventing the Miller unit from invading Port Patterson. Laysath forces are in retreat. Let's hope they've learned their lesson and think twice before trying to take Port Patterson again.